Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Hexes Fours. Let's take a look at my setup here. Got uh, Mega Elixirs, I mean Orbs of Hope, on pretty much everyone there. And yeah, Greek setup, pretty much the same. Uh, for the final bosses, you want the Aid Cane, another Orb of Hope, and I also want to have the Wakia Necklace to boost her Force Stat there, that'll help out with her magic quite a bit. Uh, yeah, Raphael, pretty much the same as before, although uh, I crafted another hero's cape for him, and we have the Beast Bangle to boost his strength even more, because, well, obviously we don't need to worry about gaining experience with the Mercur Mercurio Gem anymore, so... How bad could it possibly be? Nuts. That's a lot of miasma. Of another game. I could list any number of JRPGs that this reminds me of. <laughs> Nuts. Well, we're kind of in the tower, so I suppose we wouldn't be able to notice what's going on, would we? Oh. But I thought the Black Precipice was man-made, not by the gods. Well, last I checked, the vessel was tilting towards creation, so surely everything will go as planned. Who's there? Oh, hey, how's it going? What do you mean by that? You're not going to learn about that on your first playthrough, so... Well, we could kill you, that would solve the problem. How many times have we done this? So, what happened all the other times? I mean, if we didn't make it... Well, anyway. Yeah, could you, uh, stand aside, Azul? We'd like to kill the monster, please. Or, shoot the monster. That's the reference. Better for who? By killing everyone? Doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Which is... My name is Cecilia Armaclite. You killed my mother. Prepare to die. Yeah, kick ass! Whoa! Who's that? The real bad guy? Let's find out. Kinda like Agonim, huh? Let's play for boss time. I'll give it all I've got. So is he like controlling the tool or the other way around? I don't know. Okay, so first things first. We want to buff up Raphael there. So let's use Ethereal Weapon on him. Freak can uh, buff himself up. Now Galiza will continually spawn these enemies, so you're going to want to kill them, obviously. Otherwise, they'll kill you. Or they will kill you. And they're not that hard, but still. 
It's a good idea to kill them anyway, so Belisa will keep on wasting turns resummoning them. He won't always resummon them, but every now and then he will. One thing to note about Belisa is that he's a uh, void elemental. Sparkly time! For you. Let's use. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Vibrant Steel. My HP isn't low enough to use Dire Assault yet as effectively. Oh, yeah, one thing about Galiza is that he's weak to Light Elemental attacks by 20%. That's why I had the Fina use the Radiant Strike there. I could use Ethereal Force on the Fina if I wanted to. Yeah, let's use Pinkle Heal now. But yeah, I could use Ethereal Force on her, but her job is mostly just to keep us healed, not to actually deal damage in this fight. So, Cecilia would be really good in this fight, but uh, not so good in the other one, so... Well, I suppose you could use whoever you want, but I think Cecilia is just flat out better because she has... Twinkle heal there, so that way we don't have to spam our uh, orbs of hope. And besides, we're not really going to be using our force bursts in this fight. Spoiler alert, there's more fights after this. P -p -p Power! Wow, this guy's taking longer to kill than most bosses. I'm not killing him in one round! What's going on, game? Yeah, this guy actually takes a little while to kill. Yeah! Got it! I like Kalisa's voice. It's your time! Hey, kids! Er, wait a minute. No, no, no. Wrong reference. Alright, got it. Come on, 99. Come on, give me another face palm. Apparently so. What do you mean by that? Who are you talking to? Brave Azul ran away, bravely ran away, away. Well, surely Mother won't turn out to be evil. No, no, she's not. Just kind of reminds me of another game with Mother. Now, if you want to, at this point, you could go back and heal up, but I think we're in pretty good shape here. One thing I want to do before continuing on, uh, this is your last chance to do stop and do stuff. I want to spend all my force points because when I new game plus into the other path, I want to start with as few force points as possible to make that LP as replicable as possible to those who are playing that path first. Let's, uh, see, I want to get the Holy Rhea Fault up to level 60 attack if I can. Let's see, a little more. Just, uh, get rid of some stuff. I may decide to go back off screen and do stuff with the Force Points with all my extra stuff because your, re your uh, Spear Effects won't carry over to a New Game Plus. In fact, most stuff doesn't carry over into a new game plus, unlike, say, Chrono Trigger. Which, in a way, I kind of like, because that way you can play through both paths relatively normally. Although, if you wanted to be overpowered in your second playthrough, then you could carry over 100,000 force points if you wanted to, but well, that's not how I roll. I want to become overpowered the old-fashioned way. See, if you're on Levant's path, you have no idea what that Force Stone is. We'll learn more about that on Cecilia's path. 
but yeah, I mean, there's just this four stone, and you're like, huh? What? Uh, oh, yeah, um, okay. I'll take your word for it. But yeah, you have no idea, like, what Cecilia went through with all the monoliths and the whatever that four stone does. Well, what do you mean by that? What are they gonna do? It's not like the fate of the world hangs in the balance on floating squirrels. <laughs> Why, game? What happened to your enormous chest? Doesn't seem so big in the cutscene. It's a cocoon. I give myself freely to you. Hey, if I were God, I'd want to have enormous boobs too. Even as a man. Uh, you're welcome? Well, there's only nine of us here. Couldn't take the rest with us. Yeah, remember this room from the very, very beginning of the game? Why they couldn't just teleport us here again like they did at the beginning of the game instead of making us fight all those monsters, I don't know. But whatever. I guess maybe they need to test our resolve or something ridiculous like that. You can judge me anytime you want, Norvia. Uh, creation? C can we vote on this? I mean, why would anyone want to choose destruction? Well, the vessel was tilting towards creation at the end of the last chapter. Are we still on the right path? Hooray! We got creation! So, well, okay, good. Killed the bad guy, and we got the creation, so let's pack up our bags and go home. Huh? I thought you were leaving. Can we kill you again? Yeah, I brutally murdered people for ya. How dare you choose creation? What do you mean by that? How bad could it possibly be? Oh. Crap. That's what he was using. What is he using these things for? Huh. I thought we were the only ones who could do that because we had the Necrozoar. Well, if he could do that the whole time, then why bother? With, with all this other stuff. Seems like he could have done this way earlier. I guess you needed us here to get the judgment going. You're too late, Azul. What do you mean by that? What are you gonna do? Destroy it?
Well, it is a holy book of uh, the Nekozawara. Wouldn't that be a good thing, though? We would just choose creation all the time. I won't let you guys go get away with your stupid ideas like survival! Oh, he didn't destroy it. Oh. Crap. So, what happens now? Can we stop him? Let's find out. 